So there's been a few updates in the world of shotguns for Call of Duty in the last day or so, and the biggest of which was the introduction of the new aftermarket part for the Haymaker in Warzone and Multiplayer, known as the Maglift Attachment. It is an aftermarket part you can earn through the weekly challenge, and it's already been sort of retweaked. It got introduced yesterday, it was in rotation for a few hours, and then they ended up patching it, and not necessarily nerfing or buffing it, but sort of reworking how it functions. So today, I'm going to share with you guys what's going on with this thing, why it's actually broken, and why it's also bugged so stay tuned of course check the timestamps below in the description for a certain part of the video so without further ado let's just go ahead and hop right into it so first off as a general overview what is this attachment and what does it do well it basically introduces a binary trigger so essentially you pull the trigger it shoots as soon as you let go of the trigger it shoots again and this essentially makes it shoot double the rate of fire it used to at about 500 rounds per minute which you might think okay that's broken but of course you got to take into account there's damage adjustments there's all these other little adjustments we have to take into account so first of all, yes, the damage was reduced. So when you equip this, it's a 410 drum mag, meaning it now does not shoot 12 gauge. So 410 is a little bit weaker, meaning it basically now deals 22 damage per pellet up close in its max damage range or 88 damage per shot up close point blank. Also, one of the big things is it now only shoots five pellets instead of the normal eight. And this is a huge thing we'll talk about later as to why this thing can be a little finicky at times. It's most likely attributed due to the fact that this only shoots five pellets. So now let's talk about sort of the damage profile which is one of the most important things about the shotgun. And here you can kind of see what's going on with it. And I got to tell you guys, it's a little strange and this is why I think it's bugged. So as you can see, point blank out to 2.3 meters, you got a ridiculous time to kill. 360 milliseconds is no joke. That's one of the fastest in the game. That's sort of like your two shot for the Lockwood 300. It's very, very fast. Then in the next range in the first drop off, it shoots down to a five shot kill, which is still really, really solid. But then in the next range, extending out to its full potential of 21.6 meters, for some reason, it does more damage in that range compared to its first drop off. And that essentially makes it have the same time to kill in that range. So when you look at it in a broad perspective, you see you can basically get a 480 millisecond time to kill out to 21 meters. Now that in itself, yes, that's the broken part about it. But like I said earlier with the five pellets, this thing isn't always going to do that. And in fact, I've seen a lot of back and forth where some people think it's absolutely broken. Some people think it's actually really damn weak and it's just overall inconsistent. And that has to do largely in part again, due to the fact that it only has five pellets. Now, one of the nice things about this attachment is it reduces your overall spread. So when you put this thing on, you can get a really, really ridiculous and really funny looking spread that is basically a slug. I mean, it's not, but there's still a little bit of spread. It's just super, super tight. Now, personally, I don't necessarily like that on this kind of shotgun generally i like to have it a little bit of spread because this is sort of when you want to spam just get your pellets out there like crazy you don't want it to be super wide but i also don't want it to be super tight so i generally prefer having a little bit of a medium spread when it comes to this type of gun and since this one also has some visual recoil and it's kind of hard to track your opponents with it i don't really recommend rocking it with the tightest spread possible but that's just my opinion now whether or not you think it's balanced or not it absolutely should not be dealing more damage in its last range compared to its first drop off range. That is where it's bugged. And that's what makes it, I think, more broken than anything, because if it's really going to work how it should, this would drop down. It'd probably be like a 600 millisecond time to kill or something like that, where even if you hit all your pellets cleanly, it's not going to kill that quick. I think that's what they intended. But this to me seems like it's an oversight, like it's bugged because it's just really, really ridiculous that it does something like this. And it's one of the first times I've ever seen this happen in COD when it comes to shotguns that I've covered. I don't think I've ever seen a profile get this messed up, which is kind of strange. So because of that, yes, I do have to clarify, I do think that this is broken. I don't think it's necessarily the first two ranges that are the issue. I think it's that last range. It's not necessarily it's broken the fact that it's just so overpowered and anybody can use it and it's too easy. I think it's more the fact that it's an unintended feature of the gun. It's literally broken in the sense that this is not intended and it's also bugged. So it's kind of like two sides of the same coin. It's just sort of bugged and broken at the same time. Now, if they do patch this and make it to where it shoots weaker in its last range, this will probably be totally fine. I think it's totally balanced. Otherwise, having only shoot five pellets really makes a big difference. And really, you guys got to go try it out yourselves and let me know what you think, because it makes hitting targets just a little bit more finicky. Even though you're getting hit markers, you're like, 
How did I get eight shots on the guy and he's still alive? Well, chances are you're just kind of grazing him with only a couple pellets and not getting your max potential. So that's really the big issue here. So as long as they tweak this last damage range and make it shoot weaker than the first drop off, I think we're totally fine. I really think it balances out having only five pellets. I think it's only really, really good out to that five meter mark with no attachments, which is totally fine for a shotgun. So in my opinion, other than that last range, it's not really an issue, but considering what's happening now with it, yes, it is bugged. Yes, it is broken. If you want another class I've been rocking for it, this is what I have. Now notice I'm not using a choker or a laser. That's because I want the spread to be just a little bit wider. I'm using the Bruin Bastion because it gives us a little bit of a middle ground here where it's tight, but not super, super tight. And it's incredibly hard to track your opponents. You want to take advantage of a little bit of spread. So this is what I landed on. And we have that Blitz Tactical Grip for a little bit of a better sprint to fire speed. And it also helps with the tax stance just a little bit. Now, of course, this is a blue if you want a super tight spread, take off that tactical grip and put on a choke and just marvel at how damn tight it is. You can even take off no stock if you want to put on a laser. It's up to you, but I prefer having a little bit of spread. And guys, that is just about going to do it for this video. So let me know what you think down below in the comments about this attachment. Do you think it's really strong? Do you think it's kind of funny how it does more damage in its last range compared to its first drop off range? Do you think that you'll be actually using this compared to the normal haymaker? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video.